Hello students, welcome to our channel, Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to learn types of angles. So in this chapter, we will learn six types of angles. Right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle and complete angle. First, let's understand what is an angle. Two rays having a common endpoint is called angle. For example, here ray AB and ray AC are forming an angle. The two rays are called arms of the angle. And the common end point is called vertex of the angle. So students, A is the vertex here while AC and AB are arms of the angle. Now let's learn how to name an angle. To name an angle, we need three points and the point at which an angle is formed will always be in the middle. Here, angle is formed at vertex A. So, A will always be in the middle while naming this angle. So, we can read and write this angle as angle A or angle CAB or angle BAC. All the three ways to read and write this angle is correct. Now we have understood what is angle and how to read and write angles. So let's now learn type of angles. First is acute angle. An angle whose measure is greater than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. Here students, this angle BAC is an acute angle because its measure is greater than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees. Some examples of acute angle can be 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees. All these angles are acute angles. Now next type of angle is right angle. What is right angle? An angle whose measure is exactly 90 degrees. It is called the right angle. Students, do remember that there is a special symbol to denote right angle. We cannot use this symbol here. Instead, we will use this symbol to denote the right angle. So, if you see this symbol in any of your question, then it means that angle measures 90 degrees. So, here angle POC is a right angle. It means angle POC equals to 90 degrees. Now, next type of angle is Obtuse angle. An angle whose measure is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Look at this angle here. This angle BOP is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So, angle 
BOP is an obtuse angle. Let's see some other examples. Angle 95 degrees, 110 degrees, 150 degrees, 170 degrees. All these are examples of obtuse angles. Now let's move to next type of angle, straight angle. An angle whose measure is exactly 180 degrees is called straight angle. Like here students, look at this figure. Both the arms are pointing in opposite direction making a straight line. So angle MOB is a straight angle. This means angle MOB equals to 180 degrees. Now next type of angle is reflex angle. What is reflex angle? It is an angle whose measure is greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Like here students, this angle PQR is greater than 180 degrees but it is less than 360 degrees. So this angle PQR is a reflex angle. Some other examples of reflex angle are angle measuring 185 degrees, 210 degrees, 350 degrees. All these are reflex angles. Now the last type of angle is complete angle. An angle whose measure is exactly 360 degrees. Such angle is called as a complete angle or we can also call it as a full angle. Look at this figure here. Angle PON or we can call it NOP is a complete angle because it measures exactly 360 degrees. So these were the six type of angles. Students, we also have a very interesting maths project on types of angles. I would recommend you to watch this video as well. You will find its link here on the top and below in the description box. Now let's do an exercise. Question is, state what type of angles are these? So look at this first figure carefully. Students, can you see this symbol? This symbol denotes it is an angle of 90 degrees. So that means it is a right angle. Now let's see the second figure. Here we can say that angle is less than 90 degrees. So this means it is an acute angle. Now look at this third figure. Some students mark this as acute angle. But this is not an acute angle. Students, we should always see the angle being shown in the figure. Here, this angle shown is greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. So, this means it is a reflex angle. Now, let's take a look at the next figure. Here, this angle is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. 
So this means it is an obtuse angle. Let's see the next figure. Here, students, this angle is showing a complete circle. So this means it is a complete angle. Now this is our last figure, and we can easily find that it is a straight angle. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Next question is: State what type of angles are these? First is thirty-five degrees. Since it is less than ninety degrees, so this is an acute angle. Next is ninety-eight degrees. Students, this is greater than ninety degrees but less than one hundred eighty degrees. So this is an obtuse angle next is 186 degrees now here it is more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees so this means it is a reflex angle next is 90 degrees so this means it is a right angle then we have 180 degrees which means it is a straight angle and lastly we have 360 degrees which is a complete angle now let's summarize what we have learned so far so we learned six type of angles in this video right angle acute angle obtuse angle straight angle reflex angle and complete angle i am sure now you have understood them very well so thanks for watching and make sure to watch my other videos and share my channel with your friends and family bye bye see you in the next video